it's Facebook Live time. Yay, I'm back. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, done a Facebook Live. I took last week off, uh, as some of you may know, to move my daughter to college. Um, so that's exciting. It was exciting and um, kind of a little sad, but you know, really exciting too. <laughs> so here I am. I'm, I've missed being here and um, sharing with you guys, and I have a ton to share today. Um, starting with um, my new catalog pre-order haul. Hi Amy, welcome. Um, and let's see, I've got uh, swaps for my team event the other day that I wanna show you. Uh, so, um, and let's see, and then also product shares, and I've got announcements, and I've got a project, of course. So I'm gonna try to just dive right in and um, do some quick, quick reminders. Um, because we're getting to the end of August and what that means is bonus days coupons are going to expire August 31st you would have earned them in July with purchases $50 in merchandise would get you a $5 coupon to spend in August so that's going away really soon hi Sally hi Pam <laughs> um, welcome so good to see you here uh, definitely chime in and say if you're out there let me know you're there it's always nice to, to see who's there in the community um, okay so another thing to remind you about uh, the starter kit, hmm. <laughs> tongue tied here. The starter kit special that's going on now ends the end of August also, so August 31st. It's uh, $66 in free product, uh, so you spend $99 on the starter kit. You get 150, um, 100, 150. Yes, 150, no, I'm getting confused. 155, yes, um, <laughs> um, a free product that you get to pick when, it's actually not all free because you're spending 99, but you get 66 free. So the first um, 56 you get when you buy the starter kit and the next 10 you get in a coupon in September. So that's the starter kit special. It's awesome, it's great to be a demonstrator. I love it, couldn't imagine my life without it. So. Um, Take advantage of that if you want. There's information on my website if you are interested in joining my Chicks in a Treehouse team. <laughs> um, okay, next up, um, product shares are uh, now available to reserve. I've got a form that you fill out to let me know what you want. And I'm doing an early bird bonus for certain qualifying orders. So you do have to order either four, uh, four um, threshold or meet the eight threshold and then there's a bonus depending on which level you're at. But the deadline to get the early bird bonus is you have to reserve and fill out your form today. So um, I will include a link in this Facebook Live um, and in the description if you're watching on YouTube um, to get to my product shares page so you'll be able to do that and check it all out. So if you're not familiar with my product shares, I call them my taste of a sweet product shares. You basically get a little bit of several of the consumable products in a given product suite. So they all coordinate and go together and it's just really a lovely thing. <laughs> I love them. And the people who buy them from me, I think love them too. So um, just, uh, you know, check it out. Uh, I'm also doing a referral bonus for my product share program. Uh, and that's actually going to be, there's two different levels for that as well. And one of them is uh, to get the electronic materials for one of my technique classes that I just start, started doing technique classes a couple months ago. Um, and I'm working furiously to finish the one that is uh, the August class um, and hope to get that out within the next few days. But uh, so you, so one option is to get the electronic materials for that uh, class, and the other option, the higher level option, is that you get an actual kit mailed to you with all the materials to um, make the projects um, yourself at home. So um, th that's my referral bonus. So you would have seen that in my newsletter because I did put that in my newsletter that went out uh, yesterday and then last Wednesday as well. So check it out. Um, Let's see. Okay, and the product shares you have to reserve by September 5th. So if you reserve them by today, you might be eligible for the early bird bonus and you can still reserve them through September 5th if you miss uh, the early bird deadline. Okay, so I have assembled some of my shares with some of my new product pre-order haul. <laughs> so I'm gonna show them to you as I show you all of my goodies. Um, but I'm gonna get distracted. So, well, let's see, let's start with, um, we'll start with the product shares. So, um, and I'm gonna show you the papers, some of this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. And I'm gonna forget the names of them. So I need to grab, I need to grab something. Wait, actually, you know what? It's in the front of the catalog. 
This is the new holiday catalog. I still can't show you inside, <laughs> but I can show you the cover and I can look inside to remind myself what the names of the sweets are. So um, the, the, uh, there's an index of sweets on page two of the catalog. And let's see, so this, um, I should really be going in order, but I'm not going to. Okay, so this one is the Feels Like Frost product share. So you get uh, one each of the 12 designs of paper and they're double-sided, so there's actually 24 designs. And then this absolutely gorgeous ribbon that's uh, the soft sea foam, I soft, no, soft, oh, geez, it's one of the new in colors. <laughs> Somebody chime in and say what the name is. It's an alliteration, of course. And then you get um, some of this lovely glitter. It's a half a container of it. So I wanna show you these papers because they are just amazing. <laughs> um, now I have little, uh, snippets of these papers on my website, a picture, but there's nothing like seeing a bigger uh, image of it. Now the back sides are all metallics, metallic patterns, and hopefully not too much glare on there. So those are really pretty, but it's really these photorealistic um, pages that are just stunning. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. Um, and I'm kind of curious, like I'd love to hear from people. Oh, Seaside Spray, there you go. Thank you, Catherine. <laughs> Um, so, uh, what your favorite product suites are, um, now I'm not going to show you all of them because I didn't get products from all of them. I'm going to show you, I think five of them today. Is that not just gorgeous? And can you not just see it with this amazing ribbon? I am just in love with this one. <laughs> love this one. So there's that. Um, let's see. And I know I'm missing saying hi to people. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Gail. <laughs> there's another one. I love that one too. Oh my gosh, aren't they pretty? Who likes this one? Chime in. This one is what did I say? Feels like frost, right? Yes, feels like frost. And it does, doesn't it? And it just seems like it keeps going. Oh, and this is a favorite too. I love that one. And I think I'm getting back to the beginning. It just keep going and going. Maybe I did it again. Oh, I started at the beginning again. <laughs> Okay, I'm cracking myself up here. Okay, I, I love them so much I couldn't stop. <laughs> okay, so you like the other side. Okay, well, the other side's cool too, but you know, you know. <laughs> I have a tendency to show what I love. Okay, so the other side's really cool too, but I love the photorealistic side myself. Uh, so, vote. Which do you prefer? Do you like the silver side, the silver, or the photorealistic side? Let us know. Inquiring minds wanna know. Okay, so here's the next one. This one is, um, let's see, this is called Let It Snow. This share is like all about snowmen, and I love this one. It comes with some red glimmer paper, just a six by 12 piece, and then the, this lovely ribbon. Uh, it's kind of like fat uh, yarn. I'm gonna show you the papers also. So this is a specialty paper. So it has this, um, what is it, flocking, shiny, silvery, um, glittery elements to it. So just a quick run through. <laughs> oh yes, okay. <laughs> Me and Sally, we're gonna compete. It's a competition, no. Which, who likes the photorealistic side and who likes the silver side? <laughs> Let's see people commenting. I wanna win. <laughs> I know, I'm so bad. I love this paper. Do you guys love this paper? It's got all the shiny elements in it too. And there we are back at the beginning. Now the back side, these are ones that don't have the um, the specialty element to them. They're just simpler, but also, you know, can be more flexible because of that. Hi, Barb, welcome. Good to see you here, and I love this one. I just love the texture in that. Okay, so that's number two. Okay, now this one, I think I may have already showed you. This is the, um, what is it called? This is the Twall Tidings. It takes me a while to get the names down. So this is the product share for Twall Tidings. Um, super pretty, and the patterns are, they come in, one side is uh, the real red, and then the other side is the garden green, and they're all just really pretty patterns. Um, I think I just showed you that one. There's this one. Did I show you this one before? I can't remember if I did or I didn't. So it's in the red, in the green. This is, and I said garden green, right? I can't remember what I say from one second to the next. Look at those cool images. I love it. So fun, fun, fun. So whose who's, um, favorite is this one? 
think it's really, really pretty. And I'm actually, I've been designing something with it um, that may be one of the projects I do at um, my Creative Escape Day in October. So I, I do this annual event and it's, um, I do a Christmas card stamp stack and then I do a second class at the same time. It's a 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. event. So it's like marathon. And then in the middle, we have a little bit of bingo and then we have some creative play time. So um, it's just super fun. And I'm gonna be offering a class to go option for that as well. So this is, the, I think it's called Brightly Gleaming. So um, chime in if you have a favorite. I just really wanna know. I, I have been taking product share orders for a couple days now. And it's really interesting to, for me to see what the popular ones are. So. Um, if you guys guess, maybe I'll, you know, there'll be a winner of who guesses the most popular one. Anyway, <laughs> so this is also a specialty paper. It's copper and various colors. And um, so we'll just do the copper sides first. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Oh, yes. The, um, what is it called? The 12 Tidings is the one with the cardinal. And uh, just such a pretty image, that cardinal. Another one. Oh, and I got to do the back sides too. So, I mean, it's just really beautiful, amazing looking paper. Okay, so on the back sides now. And I think this is Knight of Navy and Old Olive. The Copper, of course. Uh, I think that's Pretty Peacock. It's a very kind of elegant um, color scheme. And then the last but not least. Okay. Getting down there on the product shares. Now, I should actually show you. So they gave us, when we, I was on the Greek Isles and Center Trip, they gave us these two punches, which I love. This, These are the punches that coordinate with that Brightly Gleaming set. And then I also, this was part of my new, my pre-order, the um, Christmas Gleaming stamp set. And um, yeah, I know the sentiments are backwards. They look backwards to me. Tough tooties. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm being ruthless. Oh, and I should also show you the one that had the snowman. Um, I got the snowman punch, which I love. And uh, the snowman set. I'm kind of a sucker for snowman. And that's again, it's called Let It Snow. That's the name of the suite. So I don't know if I've mentioned before, but there is sort of a mega bundle option in the catalog this time around for every suite. So you can press, use one item code and get everything in that suite. And I just think that's such an awesome option. And depending on what the suite is, it can range in price from 70 for everything up to, I think I, the highest was maybe 140. So, you know, it can be pretty pricey, but it's a great way to get a bunch of coordinating products. I love it. Okay, so moving right along, got one more suite to share with you, one more product share to show you. And this one is the plaid, it's the plaid one. Um, What's it called? Wrapped in plaid, there we go. And I did get the set for this. I think I showed it before. It's got a, some trees and a tree punch, which I love. Got those little cute little jingle bells in there. Aren't those adorable? So who wants to see this paper? Anybody? <laughs> yes. Okay. I see Sally, you love the night before Christmas paper and brightly gleaming. Cool. Well, and actually the night before Christmas is one of the ones I have not yet gotten. Uh, so I can't show you that one today. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one is the um, the wrapped in plaid though. And it's, you know, all these lovely kind of snowy patterns. I love those stockings. A lot of them are very neutral and can be used for all kinds of things, especially the plaid side, if you're not, um, you know, if you're not thinking necessarily of Christmas. So just quick, run through these. And then, and this is actually also a specialty paper because it's got some shiny elements in it, in it too. And I'm pretty sure they're gold. Um, it's hard to tell in the light. Yes, it's sort of a classic, the wrapped in plaid. So much you can do with it. And neutral kind of backgrounds, just a great, um, I can just envision those trees with it. So I have so much creating to do. <laughs> Where's all my time? I have to have time to create. You guys feel that way too, don't you? There's never enough time to create. Okay, that's it for my, um, the consumables for the most part. I do have a few other things. I did get some of the ribbons from the other suites. So this lovely striped ribbon, I think this one goes with the, um, 
the one that Sally just mentioned, Night Before Christmas, the Night Before Christmas one. And then this goes with the Halloween suite, this um, really nice, what is it called? It's, is it, is it in focus? Maybe a little bit? <laughs> right in front of my face. Anyway, um, this should be fun. I love neutral ribbons. That really is, it's very helpful. And then this combo pack comes with the, uh, I think it's called Come come Gather, Come Together, Come Together, um, which is the uh, fall themed suite. So there's that. Okay, what else do I have to show you? Um, I also got the new, um, these uh, masks, which I love. This is my absolute favorite one. I should put it up against a piece of paper, maybe. Maybe let you guys see a little bit better. Is that one? It's a little bit easier to see that way. That one. Hi, Gloria. Welcome. I like that one a lot too. So I'm envisioning all the different things that I could do with them. Um, you know, put some ink and alcohol and spray. Of course, then you would probably color your your mask or use sponges. Um, use some of the embossing paste that we have. So many fun ideas. I love masks and they're really inexpensive too, which makes it even more fun. <laughs> I love inexpensive, good bang for your buck kind of things like embossing folders. And I'm actually gonna be using two embossing folders in the project today, by the way, because uh, I do love embossing folders. Okay, so I also got this Shimmery Crystal Effects. Haven't used it. We used to sell some version of this years ago. And then the puff paint, you had to have that one because um, I got the snowman suite and I'm gonna be making snow somewhere. And then I decided to try one of the um, metallic um, inks as well, because you guys know I love metallics. <laughs> so I'm gonna be playing with that. Um, so much fun. Okay, a few more things to show. And then I'm gonna show you my um, the swaps, my team swaps, There's, it's just a small set, but uh, I know you guys always love to see projects, so um, that should be fun. So this one was my, one of the must-have sets in the, uh, the holiday catalog, this snow front. Um, it's gonna be so much fun to play with. It's sort of a companion to Waterfront, right, which has some of the similar types of images in it. So just love that one. And then I also got this hammered metal. Um, there's this whole, you know, a few line of, metallic sort of products in the catalog, which I'm excited about. And like I said, embossing folders are the best. Great bang for your buck, because you can do so many things with them. Okay, so now I also got um, the Joy of Giving Tag Project Kit. Um, so I'm gonna be playing with that and just quickly show you the stamp set. So it's an all-inclusive kit, which is super fun, and has a stamp set that goes with it. And then I'm just gonna show you the top. Did anybody else buy this kit yet? <laughs> Here, demonstrator. So it, it has this really, well, it has a little stampin' spot in there. And then I guess I have to take it out of the box. It'd be like torture not doing that. So, ooh, it's a nice box. See, I haven't seen this yet either. So this is the box. Isn't that a nice box? It's just cardboard, it's not metal or anything, but it's um, very substantial. And then inside, We've got this um, twine, uh, dimensionals, and then this lovely little packet of the goodies to make the tags. So much fun, I can't wait. So, um, who doesn't need tags at the holidays, right? So that's gonna be a task that I do. Okay, so let's see. And then last but not least, who loves the advent calendar in the catalog? I just love it. These two kits may be part of my, um, my um, Creative Escape Day in October. I'm gonna make them and see what I decide. But this is the stamp set that goes with the Christmas, um, the advent calendar, the Christmas countdown. And I've seen some amazing ideas um, made with this so that like one side is Christmas and then um, they've decorated the back sides of the little boxes uh, to make it into Halloween or Valentine's Day. So. This, there's the box, this, all the little itty bitty boxes that just slide in there. And then all the project kit materials are tucked right in there. I'm not gonna take them out now, but you get the idea. So I'm excited to play with that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So anybody else wanna do an advent calendar? <laughs> um, it sounds like a lot of fun to me. All right, I love little boxes too. They always make me happy. 
Anything little and cute makes me happy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you team swaps and then we'll get to the project, which you've been waiting for. Of course, you guys probably love to see product as well. Okay, so this was done by Barb in our group the, with the cute little truck. The theme for this swap was anything fall or autumn. So there's that. I have this set, but I have not managed to play with it. This one was made by Amy, <coughs> Amy Johnson. It's so cute. This was done by Wanda Williams, and she used the baby wipe technique to get the ink on the tree there. Just love that. And um, let's see. This is an easel card, which is always very fun. So it stands up like that. And that one was done by Edwina. Edwina in our group. Let's see. Am I missing? I'm forgetting who to tell. No, this, that's the only one I forgot. Okay. And then um, this was actually designed by my friend Cindy um, in the group. And she, um, she actually designed it so that we could all make it. So we made this card. So if you are one of my team and you're getting a kit because you participated in the challenge this month, you're going to get a kit to make this. And I've die cut the... Uh, pieces for you and cut them all out. All you'll need is the sentiment there. So, um, and dry emboss this also. So I'm talking to you, Sally, <laughs> and um, and Georgia, if she's there. You two are both getting the the kit for this one. And then um, <clears throat> this was made by Cindy. This was her swap. So check that out. It's incredible detail on there. Um, she colored um, pretty intricate detail coloring with the blends alcohol markers on those little images. Um, just kind of amazing. And then she used the die cuts from. Uh, they're also in the holiday catalog as well so so much fun and then last but not least dropping the card <laughs> i love the card let's drop it on the floor okay <laughs> so this um this other card was my um was my uh second make and take the make and take that we made and it we had a fall theme so i used the good morning magnolia um paper and then we colored it with the blends alcohol marker so but it's also a fun fold so it opens like that so it it's got sort of a little it's not really a hinge, but it's um, scored along that binding so that you can fold it easily and then open it. So I just love this design. I think I've made at least three variations on this, and actually this layout's going to be um, the layout for my September Simple Sweet Stampers tutorial bundle project. So I will be showing that and how to make it um, in at the beginning of September. So you'll get to know how to make that if you are interested in making that. All the details will be there. So yay. Um, just looking around, see if I've covered everything. And I think I have. <laughs> My whole space was covered with, with all the things that I just showed you. Okay, so I'm going to show you the project that I'm going to be making today. And, um, and then I'm going to show you how I made it. All I have to do is find it. Here it is. Across the table. Okay, so that's my card. Um, and it's based on, let's see, there's a name for it, Fanfare Fold, <laughs> something like that. I think that's what it's called. I have it written down somewhere. I have it written down somewhere, but now I don't know where it is. Um, so anyway, this is how it goes. You guys ready? Phew. Nope, I'm opening it backwards. <laughs> I know, I cracked myself up. Hi, Fran, good to see you here. So that's the Fanfare. Woohoo! There you go. So it uses three of the patterns in that designer paper um, pack. I just love the wood, and we were all talking the other night about how we missed the, the wood uh, grain paper that just went away from last year's catalog, and I just love the fern. And I made this little embellishment with um, the washi tape that's in the suite. So this is the Pressed Petals product suite, which includes that designer paper, this lovely ribbon, which I tried to incorporate, but it just didn't really fit with my design. And then uh, these, which I'm gonna show you how I did the little embellishment. This is a pair of washi tape that come together. And that's also part of the suite. And then there's one other thing that comes in that suite that seems to have disappeared. Anyway, they're embellishments. They'll probably appear underneath something. Oh, here they are. <laughs> so these ones are also part of the pressed petal suite. Um, just, uh, anyway, so I'm thinking I have to incorporate these into a masculine card. They look very, you know, heavy and masculine. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. And of course, I will share it with you guys. So that's 
that. Now I did use on the inside of my card a little bit of that one washi tape there at the bottom. So you'll see me doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down and then I'm gonna to get to showing you how I put that together. So here we go, turn me around. And oh, I have to just point out my new display on the wall. <laughs> I now have um, a whole car display and I can take those up and down. It's like an art gallery um, kind of set up. So I'm very excited to be able to um, change that out and have it available for people to see. So, okay, now I'm gonna turn the camera. So now you don't, you, don't you just want me to like zoom in so you guys can see all those cool cars up there? Oh well, now it's not the time. I'm a tease. <laughs> What can I say? Don't be mad at me. Okay, let's see. Now we gotta face us down. Yay, there's my table. <laughs> now all we need to do is put some things on it that are interesting to look at. Okay, we'll start with a clean white piece of paper. All right, so this is my card base and there are the scoring dimensions there if you want. Um, you can uh, write those down or of course they will be on my website uh, when I do the blog post tomorrow. So I've gotten some of the pieces done ahead of time just to kind of move things along. So um, I'm using, so uh, this is my frame piece. Um, I cut a piece up down and then I use this uh, embossing folder. This is the heirloom, uh, well, it has the word heirloom in it. It's part of the heirloom suite that's in the big annual catalog. There's a companion to this, which is an oval. I'll actually show you um, the oval in some of my playing. This was uh, this will be part of card salad leftover piece that I don't know what I'm going to do with yet. But basically, you dye you dry emboss the um, impression in there. I guess, I guess you guys you probably can see that, and then. Um, you cut it out. So that's what I'm gonna to do to start with. Just bring my big shot in here. And these are the dies that coordinate. So uh, I'm gonna just grab this. Now, if I wanted to, I could just put a piece of designer paper right there on the top. And I don't actually have to cut out the center. But because I recessed my designer paper, I thought it looked uh, better to um, just uh, cut it out and stick with my original design. So I'm just bringing this in and just realize I need my cutting plates. Hold on just a second. Here we go. So I got my magnetic platform and my plates and I'm just gonna go ahead and die cut this. And it may cut off the tiniest little bit of the edges, we'll see. I pretty much just cut it down to the size I wanted but it does cut the edge also, so. Oops, and I'm backwards. Gotta have the handle on the side I can reach. Oh boy, that's noisy, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I usually do some of this stuff ahead of time, but I kinda wanted you to see um, some piece of that process. So check this out. It was just the tiniest bit um, bigger, so I've got this really delicate little frame there. Want to use that for something? <laughs> it doesn't flatten your embossing. Well, that's a good question. I will have to compare it to my card. So I, the, when I did this one, I actually die cut the rectangle first, and then I did the dry embossing. So I think it did actually flatten it a little bit. So we've learned something. Thank you for pointing that out. I mean, I think it still looks okay. It's just not quite as deep an impression. Now, if I wanted to be particular about this, I could actually line it up and put it back through the embossing folder. But I'm today, for a change, <laughs> I'm not going to be particular. I'm just going to do it. Um, okay. You guys would be proud of me. I'm trying to keep it simple. It's always a challenge for me. Okay, so I'm going to bring some of my other pieces in here and show you how I put this together. So we're going to start with, now this is just a scrap, I'm not going to use that, save it for something else, but I do have these pieces here, I put a piece of all on the back of them just to make it easy. So this is my designer paper backing piece. I have um, adhesive on the back side of the designer paper, I'm just centering this on here, 
and this is going to be what goes in behind my frame like that and I'm going to put um, dimensionals along the edges of the frame and I actually have cut these so that I can use the edge of um, my uh, dimensional my dimensional so I have a nice long strip okay so we got that one so these are for the short end and then I've got nice long strips for the long end and I just want to make sure that this frame actually stays popped up um, which is why I want it to run the whole length okay and here's my net my other one <coughs> Okay, so there we go. Um, okay, so now next, I am going to attach this to my piece of green. So this is sort of a frame for the frame. When I did it, I kind of felt like it was a little too small and wanted it to have a little bit more framing, but couldn't find another color that I just loved on there. So I just went with the Mossy Meadow and Mossy Meadow. <laughs> and I love Mossy Meadow, so, but guess what? Don't put it on until the thing that needs to be underneath the frame goes in there. I almost did that, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so I'm going to center that on there. This is important. And then, and I probably could have just used one layer there, but now I'm going to attach that on. So, this is what happens in the design process, right? I just, that second layer was kind of an afterthought, so I ended up using the two pieces. I probably could have centered that piece of designer paper on the big piece and not use that extra piece, but it's all good. All right, so now I have a quarter sheet for my card base. It doesn't open because, of course, the card itself opens, <laughs> and I did leave a spot for people to write. So um, it's just a single quarter sheet of cardstock, this piece of soft suede. And I did dry emboss this piece, which is four by five and a quarter, just a little bit smaller, using my absolute favorite embossing folder, the subtle embossing folder right there. And I use that more than any other maybe single thing in my entire crafting space, except for maybe adhesive. <laughs> that might be a little bit of an exaggeration. But... Um, I do love that embossing folder. So it just gives you this nice little texture and variation and sort of some added subtle framing. Okay, let's get to the fun fold portion. All right, so I'm just gonna attach some of my pieces. I've just noticed that I did not cut a piece of vanilla for that one panel. So it might be a naked panel for the moment. Um, but we'll get the other pieces on there so you can see the bulk of this design. Just looks right side up to me this way. <laughs> so there should be a vanilla panel right here that has a piece of this washi tape on it. But I forgot to cut that piece, so I'm going to be doing that after the fact. Um, okay, so there's my pieces. There they are. Now it gets the, the control together. Okay. So, here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Getting myself oriented here. So this actually, I folded it the wrong way. It has to be folded that way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Okay. All right, I'm going to get my bone folder. Burnish those edges. Now, with this kind of card, it's really important that you get a really nice, um, crisp fold because otherwise it kind of sticks up a lot. It already sticks up a bunch. So, um, just make sure I got all those corners nicely burnished. You guys know that word, burnished? <laughs> just make that a nice, crisp crease. Okay. We're moving along here. So now I'm going to go ahead and attach this single panel to the front of 
the dry embossed piece. You do want a strong adhesive for this kind of folding card just because it's under some tension being opened and closed. Um, because, you know, when you have a fun fold, people like to play with it, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to center that. On there. Now, this would actually be really pretty if you saw those, you know, if I had something smaller over here. But that's just not the way the design came out, so there you go. All right. So, I have to do one more thing before I assemble everything. So, I've got a little bit of this um, Rococo Rose ribbon. This is one of the new in colors. And I'm just going to cut it down the center. And I'm just going to use half of it. And we did the same thing on one of the other cards that we made last night. Uh, I just love these little scallops along the edge. And if you use the whole ribbon, it's just... I don't know, it's just kind of heavy, so I haven't found applications for it. But using the um, just the little scallop edge just adds this really nice little touch. So I'm going to put my glue dot onto the bottom of my paper, and I have to decide which is the bottom. And I think this is the bottom. And when I was doing this before, I kind of had this little trick, right, where I actually tuck the glue dot against the paper. I want it to be really flush up against the edge so that it catches that ribbon. So I am tucking it in there so I can feel the edge and then pushing it on. I'll do that on the corner too. And, and then I'm gonna do two more in the middle. Okay. And so now, Probably the trickiest part of all, just getting that ribbon on there so that it's even. Do you guys see? And then I'll just snip off the, the excess along the edge. Yep, I don't need to worry about it being just exactly the right length. And I like to do this so I can put my scissors up against the edge of the ribbon of the, of the card and snip it off. Get nice and flush with that. So there is my front. I am almost done here. So last but not least, I'm going to put some adhesive on this panel. I'm going to do a lot. Might even want to use white glue for this, like the multi-purpose liquid glue, to make sure it's extra strong. And then I'm just going to center it, holding it down while I press it on here. And there we go. So there you go. So now my, this one, would have a piece of vanilla right there. I think that's why I used vanilla on that one. And then I created this little embellishment. I forget what those, call, those are called, those centers, but we, that's a new product too, those cute little centers. Um, and it's probably pretty straightforward how I did that, but I'm just gonna show you quickly I just took a one inch circle punch. Did I use one inch? I think I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> That's why I had it out. And then I just took my little petals. So this, this washi tape is literally just individual petals all attached. And they're like post-it note sticky. So just stick them on and create your little embellishment, and then get one of these self-adhesive little centers and put it, um, put it there in the center. So I'm just gonna build that flower into something that looks like that, and we're all done. Then just attach it. Now, I was telling my group last night when I was showing, I'm not sure I love that there. <laughs> I'm not sure I love it when it's closed. When it's open, I think it looks really cool. But when it's closed, it's like, hmm, does it really belong? <laughs> Makes me want one like down here too. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think. But this is what I, you know, I kind of stuck with. So there's my design. I hope you've liked that. I hope you enjoyed my card. And again, I'll have um, the details, the dimensions, and all that supplies on my website tomorrow. And um, 
Let's just turn the camera around briefly for closing and we will say goodbye. Okay, this is the tricky part. <laughs> Alrighty, so comment and let me know. I hope you'll check out the um, blog post with all the details and if you're interested in my product shares make sure to check out the description of this Facebook live or the YouTube description for link and what else um, cash in those coupons if you have them the bonus days coupons join become a demonstrator if you just love it and just want a discount because a lot of people do it just for the discount and uh, I'm probably forgetting something but oh well <laughs> well Join me next Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Same time, same channel um, here on Melissa's Crafting Treehouse Facebook page. And thanks for spending some time with me today, and I'll hope to see you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>